All right, so this is a video tour of 660 Northwest Van Buren Avenue. We are beginning with the front entryway. So you come on up here, walk up our staircase. See we have a nice big front patio which provides an excellent view of the city and some excellent opportunities for people watching, socializing, etc. Coming in through the front door to your immediate left, you have a staircase which leads to the upstairs rooms and bathroom. Oh, forgot to mention, here's our hefty mailbox which provides secure storage for your mail. And when you come inside, all of our mail is organized. So you, whoever gets the mail knows exactly where to put it and that person can easily acquire their mail. Close the door here. As I said, up to the left, we have a staircase which leads to the upstairs rooms and bathroom, but we're gonna tour the main floor first. Um, to our immediate front is a communal storage area, which is where we store communal goods like the vacuum cleaner, toilet paper, paper towels, light bulbs, etc. Things we all use and need. To our right is the main living area. It has a nice fan, light, big screen TV for your movie watching or Xbox pleasure. Nice little table here, the chair, sofa, another reclining chair, standing gas furnace, which we use in the winter to heat the house. It does an excellent job. Mo moving along, we have main dining area with main dining table, good lighting, place for storage of dry food and goods. The little table there if you want to sit over there and eat. Standing fridge freezer, one of two in the house. Proceeding along, we are to the kitchen, which is fully equipped with gas stove and oven, microwave, sink, washroom, plenty of cabinets, and all the stuff to go into the cabinets. All right, hold on a second here. As you can see, plenty of stuff for all. Everything that is needed to cook, this house already has. You are more than welcome to add to it. Just remember what is yours, so if and when you leave, you don't leave stuff behind. All right. Second full-size fridge freezer. Coming back around here, this is the downstairs bathroom. As you can see, I have a bunch of guys in the house that leave the toilet seat up. So you have your medicine cabinet, sink, drawers, reading material, and a walk-in shower with tub. So for your hygiene pleasure, it's quite wonderful. Coming back here, this is the room that is available on the main floor. As you can see, it's getting excellent lighting this time of day, which is in the afternoon, plus it gets excellent lighting in the morning. So you have a nice cabinet there and there. Bottom cabinet is what you would use for your personal clothing or shoes and whatever else you need. The second cabinet provides excellent storage for things that you don't immediately need but do need access to from time to time, such as records, old textbooks, etc. Uh, that's there currently. I can't say that it will be when you move in, but it's kind of there for scale. Another really nice feature of the house is, of this room, is that this door, when closed, is closed, but when you open it, it provides you easy and immediate access to the basement, which is a massive benefit, which I'll show you here in a second. Also, this room has a cadet heater for micro temperature control of the room. So in the winter time, when the house is a little bit chilly, we use the gas stove outside to provide the primary heating, and then we use the cadet heater for micro temperature control management. Proceeding down the staircase into the basement, down here. Basement also has another standing full-size fridge freezer 
obvious benefit, food storage, and the house's laundry facilities. You have a washer and a dryer, so you don't have to worry about saving up your quarters and nickels and going to the laundromat. The, all the hot water in the house is provided by this Renai hot, we, hot water heater, ah, Renai gas heating system. So what this does is it pretty much heats the water as it flows through the unit, which translates to you having pretty much instantaneous and unlimited hot water that never runs out. So you do not have to worry about being the last person to come home and getting a cold shower. The basement is a common and communal area open to all. Um, if you take the main the room on the main floor, which is the one immediately above us, you have your own private access down to the basement. However, if you do not, you would use this door here to enter the basement. And access to this door, let me come up and out here, is easily provided by coming through the kitchen. which is there. And also, when all other options are taken, there is a fully functional half bath provided outside the home. So here's the kitchen door, and we're back in the house. Let's proceed upstairs and show you the room and facilities that are available up there. Coming on up. Do, 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 do. Here we are. So, coming in, you can see that there's a full-size walk-in shower, floor mat, kitchen sink, uh, cabinet below, medicine cabinet, lighting, and a toilet and cabinetry. So you have something that is quite serviceable and comfortable light and save energy. As you can see there's also three other rooms available. There's two other rooms up here. Both of these are occupied but they share a very similar floor layout to the room which is available which is this one which is to your immediate right after you reach the top of the staircase. So walking in, got a whiteboard that will stay with the room. Also has a cadet heater good lighting coming through these two windows here. And as you can see, this room has a bit more floor space than the other one. And it also has a walk-in closet, as you can see here. So walking in here, sense of scale. So it, this room does have the benefit of having more floor space. However, you would be sharing a bathroom with two other people and you have to go downstairs to the main common areas and go outside to access the basement. Room on the main floor provides the benefits of private access to the basement for all intents and purposes private use of the downstairs bathroom and much easier access to the common areas of the home. You just slide open your doors and voila, you are on the main floor, which is everything. Coming back down here. Just light off. We shall look at some other features of the home. All right, so coming back out of the kitchen, the house does have a nice large garage attached to it. This is primarily used for storage. That's my car. And as you can see, there's also space for another vehicle and parking is available on the parkway which is on the other side of the sidewalk it just requires a city issued a uh, permit issued by the city which is really inexpensive and is good for as long as you own the car and live with the address give you a sense of size of the garage one moment let me open it up kind of hard to do this one-handed so please forgive me Okay. So we have a nice big garage for storing of your bike or anything else you don't want to keep in your room. Um, it has some other tenant stuff in here, but this will be gone at the end of the summer and will provide even more storage space. Got a lot of tools in here which are used for keeping the house maintained and well 
in good maintenance, but it is a common storage area. There we go. Do, 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 do. So in effect, oops, pulled that in a little too far. So in effect, that's kind of house in the hole. Uh, we have our garbage collection bins here. And just give a sense of the neighborhood. Nice, quiet, family neighborhood. Not a whole lot happens around here, which is great because it stays quiet. Literally end of the sidewalk on the left-hand side is where the public library and Central Park is. You head out that way and you are on campus uh, about 15 minutes on foot and five minutes by bike. Right here you have Van Buren, which is your main artery leaning out of town. And across the street on the other side is where Harrison is, and that's your main artery coming into town. Harrison will take you downtown to where all the best restaurants and nightclubs are, about five minutes by foot. And Harrison will take you to where all the food shopping and any other needs you might have can be taken care of. So the house is literally right in the logistical heart of Corvallis. By vehicle, you are no more than 10 to 15 minutes away from anything you need to get or anywhere you need to be. That's it. Nice little walk around of the house, sense of scale. I hope you liked what you've seen. If so, you can give me a call or email via the instructions that are on the ad. My name is, once again, my name is Anthony, and this has been a video tour of my home on 660 Northwest Van Buren Avenue. Any and all contact information is provided on the ad. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day. Take care.